here at Forest High School, The Rock, right outside the gate here at The Rock. It's the main event here on Friday night, week one. And Mike Mulder explained to people why week one is not really week one. Well, that's because everybody needs an off week, Gary. So that, you know, you want week 10 to be your last week. So they put uh, Go ahead and admit week it. I needs don't know, more Gary. Money. I, it sounded good to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a guest here on the show uh, in our arms. Coach Brian Coleman of the Forest High School Rockets. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, Coach, I know you guys are going to try to extend your uh, win streak to four games over the champions tonight. Uh, you personally, this being your first year, I know you previously had stints under Coach Adelot, Coach McCurry, both extremely knowledgeable coaches. Of course, uh, Coach McCurry being at Mary County now, Coach Adelot at Riverdale. Uh, what do you think be the most important thing you took from each one of those guys from a coaching standpoint? Well, Coach, I think Coach McCurry, just uh, the character curriculum and t- things like that to work, and, you know, get these young men to be men. One day they're going to be they're going to they're going to be employees uh, and and leaders. A lot of them are going to be big. And I always tell the guys, you know, to teach character a lot. And then Coach Aid a lot. He was a very uh, meticulous, I guess would be the word, and, and very organized. And and he he was a great great motivator. His his speeches on like his best speeches were usually Thursday after Thursday practice. And boy, they were some great speeches. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Coach, you've uh, instilled the wing T offense here at Forest, and yes, I know that Coach Aidlot and Coach McCurry both have ran it for many years. Uh, you feel like with that kind of offense tonight, do you feel like that the offense, the game, we're going to see more of a shootout, or do you feel like it's going to be more of a defensive battle? I, I think defensive battle. Uh, both teams, Cascade, and I'm, I'm sure Coach Parker, uh, I think he said this in the paper that, you know, it's going to be a running – Everybody's going to try to run the football, establish the line of scrimmage, and play good defense. And, and I think that, that that offense fits our personnel. Uh, Coach McCurry coached that at Moore County for many years. And same type personnel. And, and, and now he's at Marion County still running the same thing. Coach Adelot has a little bit of a different breed of a wing tee because, you know, they a little bit more speed. It's kind of a double wing with more motion. But uh, but we, we're trying to fit the personnel. And, and you know, we've got some hard-nosed young men that, that really want to that really want to work really hard, and I think that offense fits our, our personnel. Uh, Coach, you uh, played Collinwood last week, uh, preseason top five in many polls, a uh, huge margin of victory last week. Speaking of wing tee, I think you guys were only forced to pass ball one time, if I'm right. So uh, Two, twice. Twice, okay. Well, obviously, you had <laughs> things going your way. Uh, shut them out for four quarters, I believe. Yes, uh, sir. On uh, defense. Uh, give me a couple of uh, names on your defensive side of the ball that uh, really contributed to that shutout. Well, we've got Tyler McClendon here. that will be here in a minute. He's, he's right here. I want to talk to him in a minute. He's a middle linebacker. He did an excellent, excellent job. He's a great tackler, great leader. He's one of our team captains. Uh, another middle linebacker would be uh, – Blake Leonard, he's doing an excellent job also. Uh, our secondary, you know, didn't get much work. They, you know, they covered well. Zach's, I mean, I'm sorry, Tyler McClendon's little brother, Zach. I called him little brother. He's going to be mad. <laughs> uh, younger brother, I should say. He had a, a pick six, and he was playing outside linebacker, him and Logan Hollinsworth. And our defense is set up, you know, to contain the uh, the quarterback. That that quarterback's a very, very, very good athlete. He's he's. In the last year and this year, he's a big boy. I mean, Tom's 6'4", 250 as a quarterback. Really hard to tackle. So we had to stay in front of him and contain him and not let him outside. And, and our two outside linebackers did a great job with that. You guys spread the ball around really well last week. I think you had four or five different uh, – Runners that that accumulated yardage with I think Tyler being your leading rusher yes, last sir. week. Yes, sir. Tyler, uh, tell us, uh, you know, what's the key to being successful on that side of the ball? Uh, the key is just to keep keep the ball going downfield. Uh, just get as much yardage as you can at a time. Don't try and do too much. How important is it your job to make reads? The uh, I mean, I mean, you, you guys work on gaps a lot, I, I'm sure. And, and, yes, sir. Uh, and that type of stuff. Now, of course, we're talking about defensive side of the ball now. So, uh, how prepared do you think uh, Coach Coleman's got you guys for tonight? Our coaches do really well with uh, preparing us throughout the week, and they do a very good job of telling us the service. Well, let me ask a question. Uh, you go both ways, of course. You're running back on offense, linebacker on defense. What do you concentrate more in practice? Do they work with you more on defense or offense? Uh, we try and keep it close to even. I don't really pay attention to one side more of the ball than the other. Uh, they're both very important. You you got three aspects of the game that you got to concentrate on. And your favorite? What <laughs> it, what is it? Defense or offense? Uh, 
Defense, I like to be more physical with, but offense, I will be. Get the glory when you got the numbers. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you, like, you like to run over people or you like to get that. around them? I definitely like to run over people. Definitely, oh, well, this is going to be fun, definitely. Trey. <laughs> he's, he, he, better not, he, he better not start dancing. <laughs> uh, Coach Coleman, uh, for tonight's big matchup with Cascade, let me know in uh, – in your opinion, what are some of the problems that Cascade presents on both sides of the ball? Well, that running back Creed Rose is a as a big boy, and and he runs you know north and south. Uh, he's a he's a strong young man. The quarterback this year is doing an excellent job. I think just controlling the football game and 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 being a general, you know, so and making the passes when he needs to. Uh, the other running backs is a quick guy, so they've got a good a good mixture there. You've got number one as a wide receiver. He's probably the best athlete. He'll be the best athlete on the field tonight. He's a wide receiver and a defensive back. Uh, and they run a little jet motion, a little stuff with him. But definitely, I think, you know, to stop Creed, you know, I think he was a 2,000-yard rusher last year, and he, uh, I think he's the he's the key. Do you keep number 11's eye on him all night? We, we might have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coach, uh, Kenny Parker told us that uh, Sutton, his kicker, was was kicking it pretty consistently three yards deep in the end zone. Have you guys, are you guys pretty stout in that phase of the game? We have a kicker. Chris Haggard does our all our kicking. He does our punting, our extra points, and our kickoffs. We've got one in the end zone last week, I think. Uh, heck, we had, I think we had three penalties last week, and two of them were offsides on the kickoff. So. Uh, well, we worked on that this week. Uh, that'll be corrected. But he was starting five yards deeper than he normally does. But that is a weapon to have a good kickoff, yes, man. Man, it's such a weapon. I mean, there's no cover. Just dead if it gets in the end zone. It's right. such you a weapon. Make them go 80 yards every yes, every time you're going to. Such a weapon in high yes, school football. Sir. Now, your offense, Thaddeus uh, Reyes. Yes, sir. He's your quarterback. What does he bring to the table? Uh, a smart young man that, that's going to, you know, control the game and, and, and run the, you know, just run the game and be like not I said Not make earlier. mistakes. Not want... make mistakes. Like we were two for two last week. Yeah. And unselfish. You know, he's going to hand it off. Yeah. That's the way our offense is going to have to be. It makes a quarterback look good when, he's got, when for, he can delegate. Two for two and one touchdown yeah. is pretty good for yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, and like you said earlier, we've got a lot. We've got, I'll say a lot. We've got a few pretty good running backs, and they block great for each other. It's, it's really awesome to see these guys really work for each other and block for each other and, uh, and just be selfish. We don't have to be a team here. I was thinking about it, Coach. You had Tyler had the big game last week. I'm sure Kenny's probably main objective, as is yours, is shutting down Creed. Yes, sir. Tyler's going to draw a lot of attention tonight. I'm sure you've game planned to to offset that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not going to share that, are you? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he is friends with Kenny Parker. Be careful with him. Oh, yeah. I like him with Coach Parker. Uh, awesome you got to love Coach He's Parker. Awesome He's the mayor of Bell Buckle. He's well, awesome. Coach Coleman, uh, I know you guys got a lot to do today, and, and we don't want to hold you up. You guys coming out, you've been an excellent host, yes, and we're looking forward to an awesome game. Thank you all for coming here. It gives, us, gives everybody a little exposure. A little Thank you, football. sir. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you guys tonight. Thank you. Tyler? Good luck, Tyler. Good luck to you tonight. Hey, you got a prediction? Prediction? Heck. Uh, <laughs> Coach going to stop you all. Yeah, hey, he took the microphone <laughs> right out of his mouth. Good, good luck, fellas. Thanks, Coach. Hey, we're going to take a break here on Friday night main event. want to thank Coach Coleman for joining us. We're back right after this. We're jamming at the speed of light here on 93.9 The Duck.